40 laps, 10 kilometers long. And typically part of the Omnion, which is a group of four different races, this being one of them. So the scratch race, of course, previously of different distances, females used to do 7.5 Ks and now they've since increased that to 10. Men's typically around 15 kilometers, which is 60 laps. So essentially the fastest rider who finishes the full course is of course the winner. The tactics of course are very, very important. Endurance riders of course want to keep the pace quite fast. Uh, throughout and to expend some of the energy of the sprinters who of course will try and stay behind in the pack just to conserve some energy but the final 10 laps will be the really interesting one when they start to jo jockey for position So of course track cycling is a combination of you're either a sprint cyclist or you're an endurance cyclist or you're a combination of them both. So the all-round cyclist of course will compete in the Omnium which will have four different events. So at this UCI track cyclist cup there are 10 different events, six of those which will occur in the Olympics. They have the team sprint, the individual sprint, the Kieran, which are all mainly sprint events. And then the endurance, of course, Team Pursuit Madison is making its return to the Olympics. The last time was in 2008, Beijing. And then, of course, the combination of the Mole, the Omnion, which is four events over one day. So we said just over 100 athletes came to Hong Kong for this uh, Tissot UCI Track Cycling Nations Cup and uh, just over 100 athletes, 30 or so females, 60 or so males descending on Hong Kong for its first international sporting event in some time. Of course Hong Kong is well known for its Rugby Sevens which has been cancelled over the last two years. So it's great for the athletes, it's great for the sporting public to enjoy some of these events, although no crowds, all the athletes are within the bubble. So very strict protocols for them to not leave their rooms, no eating outside of their rooms, no mingling in the rooms. So there are rules and regulations that allow them to still compete and keep them safe. And uh, it's obviously a good time for the cyclists to experience some of these because we would assume that in uh, Tokyo they would be experience something similar. Other requirements, massage tables are not allowed inside the hotel rooms. Any kind of massage or stretching that they need to do has to be outside. And of course they need to be tested on a very very regular basis. They even have protocols for cheering high fives which is typically frowned against to try
try and limit the spread of any kind of infections. So we've reached the quarterway mark. There is 28 laps to go. And you can see the riders obviously changing position as they go uh, from the front to the back as they try and conserve some energy. Of course, those that are in front have got the greatest wind resistance. So certainly when you're behind and you're dragging along, then certainly you're saving a lot of energy for the later stages, stages of the race. So yesterday, of course, we crowned a few champions. Um, the women's team sprint, the men's team sprint. Very, very exciting races, of course, at this Chang Kwan Velodrome in Hong Kong for what is this inaugural Tissot UCI Track Cycling Nations Cup. So the sole rider from Hong Kong, Yang Choi Yoon, uh, she's a former national handball athlete from Hong Kong. She's won a gold previously at the Youth UCI in 2018. And uh, she also represented Hong Kong just yesterday in the women's team sprint. So a little bit of a push there. from Calvo from Spain and again the endurance type cyclists in this event will be trying to push the pace a little bit because they want to use up as much of the energy of some of the stronger sprinters in the field when it comes back down to the final 10 laps so halfway there Twenty laps to go, and uh, the pack looking pretty comfortable. the scratch race part of the Omnion four different events this being one of the first ones the tempo uh, the elimination and the points race is the one that's obviously very very exciting but how they fare in the scratch obviously they get points at the end of the race and that will accumulate throughout the day as they go through the four different events So three quarters of the way through.
after this we of course we have the men's individual pursuit which will be another very very exciting race uh, watch out for Ashton Lambie from the USA he is currently the silver medalist at the last world champions in that event So we're starting to get into more of the exciting part of the race with 10 laps to go. The cyclist now will be looking to see what the competitors are doing, who's going to make a push, who's going to stay behind. So picked up the pace a little bit now with nine laps to go there. We're at 48 kilometers an hour. Uh, 11 laps to go, they're around 45 kilometers an hour. So starting to pick up the pace a little bit. when to make your move, when to make the push. Each of the cyclists are always looking around, seeing who's going to make the first move. Jihara, of course, number 16. She is a 2019 Asian champion. Uh, in the Omnium, she's the number one ranked cyclist currently this year. So, four, four laps to go. Sharakova's made a little bit of a push, but you would think the rest of the pack would soon catch up. Unless you can maintain this. With just little three laps to go. Well, she's made a push. She's looking back to see if the pack's going to be catching up to her. They're up to 50 kilometers an hour now. So... The rest of the pack don't look like they're too concerned. Well, with two laps to go, the rest of the packs looking like they're they're making their move now. Sharakova is well ahead. She's gonna come in number one. And now it's a battle for second and third. Strong push for the finish. And there you have it. Waiting for the photo finish. Kajahara number two. Cowboy from Spain. Ebertat, they're looking to see what that final placing will be. But. Sharakova made a move with about three laps to go and she pushed it out. Certainly well timed.
and then Kajahara who we know is a very very a good all-round cyclist uh, she's the number one ranked athlete currently in the UCI ranking list and number one in the world in the Omnium so of course the scratch being one of them so Sharakova there she ends up winning the scratch race the woman's a 10 kilometer scratch race she made a move about three laps to go and uh, the rest of the pack weren't really that interested in joining her but we saw Kajahara there gave a last big push and let's see the photo finish Kajahara number two it's a pretty tight three and four 